In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can easily install a realistic camera system into your Roblox game. So before we get started, all shout out goes to Feta Technologies for creating this. And by the way, this is the fourth episode out of my realistic series, which goes over everything like making realistic elevators and all of that cool stuff. So before we get started, if you enjoy this video, make sure to check out any other videos that may also be helpful to you. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing you need to do is head to the link down below, which will lead to a page that looks a little bit like this. And now once you're here, you're going to, let me just uh, pretend it's brand new. You're going to click on get model and then it's going to load. Then once you've gotten this model, it's time to head into Roblox Studio and install and configure this system. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio, and you can go into a game that you already own, if you do already own a game, but for me, I'm just going to head into a brand new fresh base plate. Now, once I'm in here, we're going to load up, and let's just close all of this so there's no clutter, and now let's continue. So first, you'll need to get this model from your toolbox. So first, we need to open up the toolbox, sorry about hitting the mic there too. So we're going to click on toolbox, we're going to head over to my models, and then we're going to look for feed technologies, here it is. We're going to click OK, and as you're going to see, it's going to introduce all of this clutter we don't want. So let's go to our Explorer, and let's remove the Opus ID audio system, the Valiant Evo 2, and the eFlex NG door system. And that means we're going to be left with just this, the Feta Technologies C-Flex NG video system security system. So inside of this folder, we have a few crucial things. So first, we have our C-Flex control tablet. Now this is just a tablet that your employees or whoever you want to be able to use this to be able to access the camera system. Now personally I would recommend uh, limiting this tool to certain teams or roles but for today I'm just going to chuck it inside of the starter player. Uh, not the starter player sorry the starter pack. Then we have our Cflex video server. Now inside here there's really only one important value and that's the system password. So here we're going to set a system password that we can use to unlock the Cflex control tablet. So for me, I'm just going to set this password to cookie123, but you can set it to whatever you want. And then we're going to put Cflex video server inside of the workspace. And this is just like a little roleplay server. You can chuck this wherever you want. And I'm just going to put that over there. And then we're left with our cameras. So we have a couple of cameras here. Now that all of these cameras are fixed apart from this camera, the Cflex NG HSD PTZ, which can actually rotate on a gimbal. However, it cannot look behind itself and it can only look down, forwards, left and right. Then you have your dome here, which is also locked into one position. It looks more friendly, however, it is only locked. And then you have these two cameras. Now this camera, the Cflex NG Air Bullet, it works in the daytime. And the thermal one is meant for in the dark, however, I'm going to delete the thermal one as I don't want to use it today. Now, we can have as many of these cameras as we want, so we can duplicate these cameras and put them all around where we want. But for today, I'm just going to have this amount of cameras. And you know what? I'm actually going to make another air bullet, okay? Now, let's make an imaginary wall, drag this over here. And really, you can do whatever you want with these cameras. You can rotate them, you can put them in places. It's all up to you. And let's just chuck this um, CCTV camera on here. That's looking great. Maybe we can even be a bit extra and make this a brick wall. Oh, look at us go. Look at us there with our little realistic camera. And then I'm just going to turn off the move on that. And we have a great looking camera. And then I'm going to put this dome over floating in the air. It's magical. And then finally, I'm going to put these air bullets just dotted around the spawn so that they can see each other. And now we're going to be ready to try out our system. So let's click on play and it's going to load up. And here we are. And you're going to notice that I'm going to have my C-Flex control tablet on me. Now it should open a panel, but for some weird reason it's not. Okay, so it looks like I've made a small mistake. And you see LAN, it shouldn't be in the folder. It should actually be put in workspace. And then you can delete this folder. So once you've fully done everything and you've done everything right, there should be nothing inside of the Feta Technologies folder. Okay, now we can go and press play. So we're loading in right now. Okay, and now when we open the Cflex control tablet, once again, why has this not worked? Okay, this is a little bit funny. Okay, it is not working. Okay, let's try and debug and see why this isn't working. 
Okay, I've just realized I made a bit of a silly mistake. You don't actually have to delete this folder, but you have to make sure that Cflex video server and LAN, which is this weird little thing, are all together inside of the Fika Technologies folder, and that should fix your problem, okay? So make sure that the Cflex video server and LAN remain inside of this folder, and then inside of LAN you can have as many cameras as you want. Okay, so now let's press play and see if this works. It should do. So here we are inside. We're going to press on the Cflex, and there we go, and we're going to put in our password, which is cookie123, and here we are, we're inside of the Cflex control tablet, and as you can see, we have two tabs. So we have the cameras tab, and we have the pris not the prisoner search, Jesus, the person search, okay? So with our cameras, we can actually manually click on the cameras and see what they're doing. Now, these cameras have the basic ability to zoom, which we can see are in the bottom, and you can also also see that we actually have an outline on the players inside of the game. So let's go to the other camera. And you can see this one also sees me. And once again, we get the same outline. Now, here is the view from the, uh, from the dome. You can see it has the same, but it's pretty much the same as the bullet. And then finally, probably the coolest camera, the C-Flex HSD. So what's cool about this camera is it can actually move. Um, if you click, I believe, um, I don't actually remember how the clicking works. Does it follow the mouse? Okay, I'm not really sure how to rotate it and stuff. Um, but I'm sure that's something you could research. But a really cool feature is you can actually click on person search and then click on a person. And this camera will rotate to find the person. So, hold on, I think I just broke it. Let me just quickly rejoin. So, let's try this now. So, I'm going to join. And then cookie123, cookie123, and then person search. Okay, although it does have the ability to lock on. Okay, maybe because I'm using the tablet, I'm not able to view myself. But I hope you found this tutorial useful. Ah, um, no, okay. Um, and if you have any questions about this, you can join our Discord down below. Or if you have any other cool suggestions, you can also link them down below. I hope this helped you install realistic cameras into your Roblox game. That's all for me, thank you for tuning in, and bye bye